In this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure auto reply, which is out of office messages in Microsoft 365. So an automatic reply feature, auto reply, out of office message, also called as OOF, allows an user to configure a rule in their mailbox to automatically send a specific message in reply to all incoming emails. Usually an auto reply is enabled when a user is absent from the office for a long time. If the user is on a vacation, business trip, etc. And by the way, the user can configure an automatic reply by themselves using Outlook or Outlook web access. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable, disable and configure an automatic reply message in Exchange Online Microsoft 365. All right, I have already logged into Exchange Online Microsoft 365 and I'm in my Exchange Admin Center. I'm going to expand recipients and click on mailboxes. So I'm going to select my mailbox and in the mailbox properties window, click on others and under automatic replies, click on manage automatic replies. And in this window, you can turn on automatic replies. And you can enter a reply text for internal as well as external senders. Now, one thing that you don't see here is that you cannot schedule an out of office duration in Microsoft 365 Admin Center, like the way you can do it in Outlook or Outlook Web Access. So under reply to all senders inside the organization from this mailbox, I will type, I am out of office. And you can also select uh, the option send automatic replies to senders outside this organization. You can reply to all external senders or you can only reply to external senders in your mailbox contact list. I'm going to select reply to all senders and I'm going to type the same message and click on save. All right, so this is how you set the automatic reply for a mailbox in Exchange Admin Center. You can also configure auto reply for mailboxes using PowerShell. You can use commands such as get hyphen mailbox auto reply configuration, or you can use set hyphen mailbox auto reply configuration. So the first thing you will connect your Exchange Online tenant using the command connect hyphen Exchange Online. So I'm going to select my user account. To enable an automatic reply for a mailbox, I'm going to type the command set hyphen mailbox auto reply configuration minus identity. In my case, it will be michael.green minus auto reply state is enabled. And I will set the internal message so this will be the auto reply message for internal users. So I'll type this as internal auto reply message text minus external message. So this will be auto reply for external senders. So I will type this as external auto reply message text and I'll press enter. All right, the auto reply has been set for this user. Now to list the current auto reply settings for this mailbox, I will type get hyphen mailbox auto reply configuration minus identity michael dot green. And you can see the external message which is set to external auto reply message text and internal message is set to internal auto reply message text. Now, if you'd like to disable the auto reply configuration for a mailbox, simply type the command set hyphen mailbox auto reply configuration minus identity. In my case, it'll be michael.green minus auto reply state is disabled. Press enter. And if I run the get command again for the same user account, I can see the auto reply state is disabled. So this is how you configure auto reply for a mailbox in Exchange Online using PowerShell.
Now, Microsoft 365 has some additional auto reply options you can set using the set hyphen mailbox auto reply configuration commandlet. So I'm going to specify an identity. In my case, it is michael.green minus auto decline future request when OOF. And if I set this to true, it will decline all meeting requests when out of office is active. If I use the switch, decline all events for scheduled out of office. And if I set this to true, it will reject all accepted events scheduled for the out of office period. And if I use a decline meeting message, and you can set a message text to a meeting organizer if it is configured by one of the previous options. If I use the switch create OOF event, and if I set this to true, it will create a calendar event for the out of office period. This will make it easier for meeting organizers to use a scheduling assistant. If I use the switch out of office event subject, you can set an out of office event subject to be displayed in the Outlook calendar. And if you want to use more complex auto reply scenarios, for example, forwarding, conditional replies, etc., you can use Exchange Inbox rules. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.